calling for Siddharamaya's resignation, but he says, why should I? Let the probe continue. Why should that be such a problem? Yeah, I was hearing uh, when he was speaking uh, <coughs> with your channel. Hmm. And I was surprised that he says that anybody who wants to work for social justice, BJP comes after him. Why does it always happen when you know, political thieves get caught? They start crying the horse of polit uh, social justice. You remember Lalu Yadav? When he was arrested first time in 97, he was crying all social justice, social justice, social justice. And Congress government was there when the cases of Lalu Yadav were lodged. Today we have a crystal clear case. The case went back, goes back to 2003. When this land was denotified and it was not acquired by Muda, then the today's chief minister brother-in-law acquired it in 2004, got it mutated for a change of land use and in 2010 gifted this land to chief minister's wife, his sister. Now suddenly, 2010 land gets acquired by Muda automatically without chief minister or his wife getting any notice, which later Muda uh, acknowledges also. And then this whole conspiracy of allotment of land, 50-50 scheme out of 3.16 acres, how the 14 sites were allotted. And suddenly in 2023, when Congress mm. returns to the power, the first thing our social justice champion chief minister does, scrap the 50-50 policy. After scrapping what he does, he claims compensation for 62 crores. What the High Court said today, the conspirator and the beneficiary both lies in the family. So the case has to go on. But I'm sure there is no question of resignation, there is no question of an apology. Mm. Congress will follow the path what Arvind Kejriwal has showed them in the true light. They will not resign. Nah, maybe he goes to jail. Then we will see. But he is not going to resign. There is okay. no moral questioning. There is no moral authority left. Anything. And if you question them anything, they will speak social justice. What kind of a social justice this is? In the name of social justice, you are hmm. putting an exchequer of 62 crores. This is social justice for you. Okay, you know San what the Sanjay. Justice for the Congress Party means. Okay, for Sanjay, why, why don't you respond to what you've just heard from Ajay? You take INS Vikrant, that is social justice. Okay, you know, Ajay has put out a strong defense, Sanjay, and the truth be told that had this been a BS Yedurapa or any other BJP rule chief minister, you would be out on the streets asking for that person's resignation, the chief minister's resignation. Uh -huh. uh, Deepi, good evening and it's good to be on your program as well. Uh, let me try and keep my answer very succinct. Uh, it is very rich of my friend Dr. Ajay Alok. He and I both come from Bihar. When he lectures on corruption, I want to just remind him and tell your viewers in case they are not aware mm. that in Bihar we have had this extraordinary achievement, extraterrestrial achievement, where 15 bridges collapsed within a few weeks which is probably going to make it to the Guinness Book of World Records, which is the kind of corruption that the BJP has done in Bihar. So rather rich of Ajay to sit here with a very you know, composed face and deliver a very calm speech, because the truth is that the BJP was defeated in Karnataka, Deepthi, for being called a 40% Sarkara. I am the future that was born a hundred years ago. I am the purpose that emerged with India's independence to be a force for business that makes doing good our business towards an independence where knowledge sets us free to think big and achieve bigger to take India to the world and the world to India creating pathways of self-reliance to stand for progress the planet and the people towards a future made perfect and be a force creating abundance because independence is not a moment in history it's a never-ending path to prosperity aditya birla group a force for good